चैप्टर वन वट वेयर हाउ एंड वेन ट्राई टू रीड द रशीदाज क्वेश्चन शी ट्राइज टू नो समथिंग अबाउट हर पास्ट एंड ऑल्सो डू द ऑल्सो डू रीड द फाइंडिंग आउट वट हैपेंड बिकॉज दिस विल हेल्प यू टू थिंक अबाउट थिंकिंग इज द बेस्ट प्रैक्टिस वाइल स्टडी नेक्स्ट टॉपिक इज वट कैन वी थी वट कैन वी नो अबाउट द पास्ट एज यू के एज यू कैन रीड वी कैन नो अबाउट द पास्ट लाइक ईटिंग हैबिट्स क्लॉथ वियरिंग पैटर्न हाउसिंग पैटर्न ऑफ डिफरेंट कैटेगरी ऑफ पीपल्स लाइक हंटर्स हर्डर्स फार्मर्स रूलर्स मर्चेंट्स एटसेट्रा and uh, we can also know about uh, children's what they what the games they used to play stories they used to heard plays they used to saw songs they used to sing next topic is where did people live so if you will care, if you carefully uh, go through this topic then you will find there are uh, different places where people li- used to lived the first uh, place is river narmada near the banks of river narmada people used to live several hundred thousands years ago alongside the uh banks of the namada skilled gatherers used to live because uh, at those times no agriculture was developed and um, no nothing no nothing technology nothing was there so they were uh, skilled gatherers they used to know the wealth of the uh, uh, nature they use uh, they have skills uh so that they can differentiate differentiate between the uh natural produces which were useful for them they also used to hunt animals because uh, mostly they were dependent on nature nature so and uh, uh no agriculture techniques were there so they used to uh, uh, rely on animals and a natural Uh, wells you can see uh, i have uh, highlighted the narmada river try to uh, keep the uh, image of the uh, narmada in your mind this would help in your examination next is suleiman and karthar hills try first try to see where it is located it is located north west of india now again i'm going back to that slide so you can see uh, Sul- near suleiman and karthar hills first crop was go- grown it was barley and wheat it's approximately 8000 years ago people living uh, here used to rear animals मतलब आई मीन दे स्टार्टेड रियरिंग एनिमल्स एंड ऑल्सो स्टार्टेड लिविंग टूगेदर इन फॉर्म ऑफ विलेजेस नेक्स्ट इज गारो हिल्स एंड विंध्याज यू ट्राई टू लोकेट दोज लोकेशन दीज लोकेशन ऑन मैप एंड ट्राई टू रिमेंबर दिस बिकॉज दिस वुड हेल्प अ लॉट now i'm coming back to this uh, garo near garo hills and vindyas first agriculture were developed and rice rice was first grown near garo hills and vindyas river indus and its tribut- tributaries now see the map of uh, i have indicated indus river and uh, now cities first for i mean city was first developed near river indus and tributaries the ganga and its tributary 
ट्वेंटी फाइव हंड्रेड ईयर्स अगो सिटीज फ्लोरिस्ट नियर द बैंक बैंक ऑफ द गंगा साउथ ऑफ द गंगा ट्राई टू सी द मैप यू कैन सी द गंगा इज फ्लोइंग एंड साउथ ऑफ गंगा वॉज टर्म एज मगध नाउ इट इज लोकेटेड इन बिहार इट इज किंगडम्स वेयर सेट अप कंट्रोलिंग अदर पार्ट ऑफ द कंट्रीज एज वेल सो यू कैन सी द कैपिटल कैपिटल बिग सिटीज वेयर डेवलप्ड एट द बैंक्स ऑफ गंगा नेक्स्ट टॉपिक इज वाई डू पीपल ट्रेवल्ड वाई डू पीपल ट्रेवल्ड फर्स्ट आई विल ट्राई टू आई हैव ब्रोकन अप द होल पैराग्राफ इन डिफरेंट पॉइंट्स फर्स्ट आई वॉन्ट टू लिस्ट आउट द प्रॉब्लम दे यूज टू फेस वाइल्ड ट्रेवलिंग प्रॉब्लम्स वेयर हिल्स बिकॉज आवर कंटिनेंट इज फुल ऑफ हिल्स high mountains and uh, northern part of our continent is him, uh, is spread uh, is uh, guarded with himalaya mountains deserts you can see the uh, rajasthan in rajasthan rajasthan is full of deserts rivers seas these are the uh, problems whenever uh, a person uh, was used to travel but they you they have to face these problems next point is why do they use to travel answer is very simple everyone needs livelihood so they used to uh, travel in search of livelihood escape from natural disasters like floods earthquakes forest fires etc few peoples Um, used to conquer other lands, and they used to travel in ar uh, in in form of armies. Few people used to do trades. Like if I have a uh, rice, then I would go. I will travel uh, to somewhere where I could buy salt by giving rice. So the merchants used to travel in caravan. there were religious teachers as well they uh, used to walk from village to village town to town and uh, they used to stop peoples to advise or spread a spirit and finally adventure few people used to travel to discover new places new and exciting places and all these um, lead to the sharing of ideas between people they also shared their cultural traditions as well now next come uh, next topic is names of land we our country have two names india and bharat and the india is used and the india is derived from indus indus river you can you have you have uh, you might remember the indus indus river was uh, flowing in northwest of the continent india comes from indus and the indus is termed as uh, sindhu in sanskrit iranian and greeks who came about 2500 years ago was very familiar with the indus and they used to call it as hindus or indos the second name bharat was used to name the people living in the northwest of our continent they are the uh, bharat is also uh, named mentioned in rigveda and the rigveda is uh, a composition in sanskrit and it is 3500 years old next topic is finding about the past finding about the past is very interesting and uh, adventurous work 
and finding uh, about the past we find different things about past in many ways few of them we will try to discuss first is books or manuscripts manuscript is written by hand although books were also written by hand in earlier earlier uh, phases when the paper was not uh, developed or mechanical right printing technology was not, not developed then books were also written by hand and these books or manuscripts were written on palm palm tree palm leaf or bark or, or bark of birch birch is found in himalaya but as you can see these uh, books or manuscripts were written on uh, a leaf and uh, bark so the life was not uh, very long and hence these uh, manuscripts were uh, destroyed um, or eaten by insects but few of or many of them have survived Pre uh, those were preserved in temples and monasteries now uh, second thing is inscription inscription is something written by hand on hard surfaces like stone metal or clay uh, inscriptions were uh, written by artisans and uh, these were or these were the orders or the glory of the king that those thing those were inscribed on hard surfaces and or it may be orders of the king victories of battle and important events and uh, since these uh, were written on stone either stone metal or clay uh, so they survived for a long period and it is easy to um, know about them now now uh, finding about the past uh, oh, sorry archaeologists 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 are person studying inscriptions manuscripts and other historical evidences are called archaeologists now the term historical evidences we need to focus on it here we go historical evidences what are historical evidences remains of buildings how the uh, remains of buildings paintings tools weapons pots pans ornaments coins bones plants these are historical evidences and uh, scholars used to try to uh, connect things so that uh, we can know about past for example remaining of buildings shows how they used to live paintings uh, by seeing uh, studying paintings we know the cultural practices they used to uh, do tools tools uh, as you know tools is nothing but uh, uh, anything that helps our um, helps to do something with ease anything with ease weapons weapon uh, mostly they used Uh, for uh, hunting and farming pots pans ornaments coins these were the uh, you can understand bones bones uh, uh, we, uh, scholars uh, whenever finds an uh, bones of animals birds fish etc near uh, the remains of buildings they used to guess what the people ate plants plant uh, uh, by the way plant never survive for a long period but if that is burnt by mistake then they used to survive for a long period in the form of charcoal and it can be um, studied it can uh, we can know the age of that charcoal now another question is one past or many answer is many because past was different for different kind of people 
For example, the lives of herders or farmers were different from those of kings and queens. The lives of merchants were also different from the craftsperson and so on. Even today, uh, we can see different customs for food, for uh, wearing clothes, etc. For example, if you if we go to Andaman Nicobar, we can see uh, today as well people used to uh, gather their food produces by hunting and gathering. Now, uh, another point we need to discuss. We know we know about the kings because they they kept records of battle and their victories. However, ordinary people do not kept records. So we have limited sources about ordinary peoples. What do dates means? Dates are counted from counted from the birth of Jesus Christ, founder of Christianity. And the dates counted backward has a prefix of BC before Christ. Now uh, don't get confused a lot uh, with this. I have uh, just listed about listed uh, it in a tabular form after Christ. You may if you if you find a date like 2018, it means after Christ. If there is a prefix of BC, then think that it is uh, 700 years ago from the date of uh, Jesus Christ birth. You can also consider like minus 700 years ago and AD. AD stands for Anno Domini and uh, AD means uh, you can resemble something like after Christ. And BC, BC stands for before common era and it also uh, it is also similar to before Christ. Sometimes we uh, also use um, BP. BP means before present. Now try to read the elsewhere part and you can see I have written something about it. Inscriptions have two major parts scripts and language. Reading uh, reading inscription is termed as decipher, decipherment and you can also call in simple words like uh, decoding friends if you liked our uh, liked my video then please like it so that i can i can um, understand that i am uh, doing a good job and uh, please don't forget to subscribe my channel so that uh, you will be um, informed about my channel thank you so much have a nice and great day thank you so much